What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we're going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar, Gemini Gang in the Building, uh, his new album. And of course, we're going to dive into it from a spiritual perspective. We're going to talk about Christ consciousness. Uh, we're going to talk about Lucifer. Lucifer. And uh, we're going to see where, where it goes from there. So let's get into it. Kendrick Lamar released his first album in over five years, Miss Morale and the Big Steppers, double disc. It, I'm sure we've all taken it in because he was trending number one overall worldwide. So this is I want you guys to know that this it's always been said and known. That in the world, right, there are so many different layers of, of power and establishment. There's always there's a saying that's always been known. Music is the king of professions. So, you know, ideally everyone would love to be an athlete, uh, love to be an actor, movie star. But if we really boil down to everyone, if they could choose, would probably have music involved because we all have a, a spiritual connection to music and there are all different types of artists and different you're you're going to be attracted to artists at the end of the day you're attracted to the artists in which you you vibrate on that that frequency or they are able to touch different frequencies from from their creation you know when you receive it so Within musicians are great, especially in this modern world, great examples of of showing, in certain cases, how Christ consciousness highly activated, how it plays out, how it is received, and all of that. This applies to Kendrick Lamar because I believe that. Uh, there's a particular in this modern age, there's a particular pantheon of artists who've, who've obtained this status and has been able to play out. So I believe those a few of those artists uh, have been Bob Marley, uh, Tupac. I'll even go really far back and throw at you uh, Frank Sinatra, okay, uh, Bringing it back, let's say, um, more modernly, Kanye West and Kendrick Lamar. And then, astrologically, if you didn't know, Kanye West and Kendrick Lamar share the same sun-moon combination. And I also believe they share the same rising sign, too. I believe they're both cancer risings. Okay? <clears throat> so, there's a... There's a really elongated way I can explain Christ consciousness, and I will. Maybe not right now. I'm try to find a way to make this efficient. But essentially, we the first thing to know here with Christ consciousness is I'm not here to tell. Yes, from my perspective, Jesus Christ was n not was not the Christ, but a Christ, one Christ of many. So I just named modern Christ, which essentially Christ is a title, right? For a particular level of enlightenment or consciousness. So I've given you those musicians in this modern age. Now in the, an ancient age, there are many, there have been many Christ to roam the earth. Jesus Christ, the Buddha, depend how um, our our leaders, Martin Luther Kings, Malcolm X, Gandhi. Okay, even revolutionary. It goes on. Okay, so a level of consciousness, and there are different initiations so remember this is less of 
It's less about a man, how it's been taught to you. Jesus Christ died for our sins. We're, it's more metaphorical. So we're all able to access and will, well, I can't say will, but through the continual process of reincarnation, you will access Christ consciousness in your, li in your lifetime. What it'll look like will differ, but depending on the, the level of power and then how, how that light, which is Lucifer, is expressed will show how it manifests and how it looks okay so i've given you all these figures of seeing christ consciousness and we're keeping in mind that's a, a particular level of consciousness or uh a, a title like 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 buddha brown right like I, I could call myself buddha brown or christ christ brown or christ gemini brown right it's all perspective. So going back to like the levels, this particular Christ energy and astrologically, this ties into or corresponds to Pisces, the savior, the self, the martyr, the selfless one, the one to transcend, the one who who, who like in many different sense absorbs the sorrow of the collective or sees the truth and how one sees or feels this truth, you know, and what they do with it. So astrologically, Christ's energy corresponded to that 12th house towards that Pisces energy, but Keep, I also want to point out like it's levels to it, different initiations. So think of this as occurring on an internal level. So this is taking lifetimes to obtain. And then remember, we're all creators. So it's like, okay, in this lifetime, I have the, the potential to meet the, the, the Christ consciousness energy. What role am I going to play? Now I want to bring this back to Kendrick. Okay. I'm going to bring this back to Kendrick Lamar. Because he he is very aware in in this and a lot of his symbolism uh, with wearing the the crown the thorns rising right, that's depending on, on how you're gonna, you might just jump to Jesus Christ but you want to think deeper than that right in one sense it's it's personal, but it's also collective at the same time. So by saving myself first, I'm saving others. But in doing he I, the the thorns to me represent the the pain, the pain of, of, of transforming or the pain in doing so uh symbolize it's not an easy road you will you will be hated we know that we've seen that uh it's painful and, and keep in mind where sad is all the, at the crown we're far removed from the root so there's a layer and then that this around the crown is also showing that enlightenment but remember in our logical minds we believe you make it to the top you it must be amazing to be kendrick and there's something he does in the album towards the the last one of the last one, mother, mother I sober. The hook is saying, like I wish I could be anyone, but me. And I believe that no matter who you are, because we all Virgo shows us opposite of Pisces. Virgo shows us no one is perfect. We all have flaws and insecurities and. Through the work in this lifetime, um, we improve upon that. And by improving upon that, our own insecurities, we tap into that Christ consciousness. Uh, so the, what he's been exhibiting, like I said, it's not just this album. He's been exhibiting that, 
that Christ conscious energy. Um, now, because he's a rapper, don't, don't, there's always going to be di different songs and like, he says so much. He's a rapper. And we, if you make yourself think rap has to be one particular way, you may not appreciate what he's doing. So where I want to address now is those who don't feel Kendrick, because there's a lot. And always keep in mind, we're talking about Christ consciousness and going back to that story of Jesus Christ, the hanging, the, the, the stoning, all of that. You in it's also well noted. Well, it was well noted to me. One, one of the first things my father told me, you know, like spiritually, kind of was like, you know, the more you ascend, the more you know, the more you know, the more you're gonna wanna, uh, or the more you know, the more different you'll be, and the more you you express that difference, the there will be others who just their spirit won't resonate with it because it can't. And that always, and this was years before I was ever conscious and it really, it just stuck with me. But, um, so with their, this for the people who don't feel Kendrick Lamar, at, at this, at, at this level of uh, popularity. <laughs> you have what some would call a cult following, right? And when you are loved and adorned, and the same could be said at this level of popularity for R. Kelly. Where I'm getting that is that when you do reach this level of popularity, there are going to be those who love you and you can't do anything wrong. Like, and especially musically, because that's the root of where they fell in love with you. So it's always, you could say some nonsense, but they're going to stand behind that nonsense because they are a cult follower of yours. Your word is law. They, they have raised you to the pedestal. So with that, so tying this in with the Christ consciousness, no matter who, no matter who you are, and you've accessed this to a level where you have a plateau to actually heal or save others with what you do. This can be a motivational speaker. This can be a, a, a doctor, a lawyer. Once you've built that thing and accessed the Christ, you will have those who swear by you you are that's what gets people to you know be number one in their field and and um like transcendent in their field you need the love of the people now this is aquarius and leo okay not digressing but it, it's all the totality so you have the heart of the of the people once you access this because it's levels so bring it back to yahoo who just don't feel Kendrick. Part of why you, you don't feel him is energy and frequency, but the other is that it's because, because he is adorned easily, easily or or with the praise on some level, you're you're that person or the people in the world who meant to be the opposition, which is just natural. So I say that to say this. You don't have to like or resonate with what Kendrick does or produce. But if you do, you you're just know you're on a particular wavelength or frequency that allows you to be understood where you can where you you're going to you feel the music, right? It's you may not play this every day or whatever play it to go to a party but when you need to access it that perspective it's there so i hope that makes sense y'all because y'all know me gemini we 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 see the sides and we really understand it and it's really dope so let me rehash this point the 
a Christ will, will be immensely loved. He will always, he will also, be, or they will also be hated. But it is my belief, it should be yours as well. The love will always outweigh the hate. It is just, it's a necessary part of it. And we could, this, because remember I said, we all are accessing or journeying into accessing the inner Christ. And <clears throat> at this level, we, at a particular level, we need to understand that everyone doesn't like us or won't like us. And that's okay. Then you can reference things in the Bible. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Shit like that, you know? So, furthermore, I, I'm allowing us to see. So, I want. I now want to just use Kendrick as being a rapper and, and you know, compare it to like I use those other people in between, um, you know, the Tupacs, uh, Kanye's. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't it, remember this Christ thing. Don't have to be what you think it has to be its levels to it. So remember the story is there, the genius thing is there. So you I now knowing this, this thing of the the levels of progression in Christ consciousness and what we're saying, you can go watch Kanye's documentary with a new perspective. It and even, even his mom passing is a level of initiation. Then he furthermore, even, you know, him with his own symbologies, with his albums, has given you also that, that, that uh, metaphorical understanding of the Christ consciousness journey. My Twisted Dark Fantasy. Ye Jesus, don't, Jesus, uh, as a work of art, doesn't fully do the concept justice. Kendrick, with his work so far, has been a bit more direct, even in just the statement in the beginning of the heart part five, I am all of us. Right? So, yeah, musically, by the, by the time you get to Yeezus, it... They're, they both give you really great perspectives of this Christ consciousness journey. And then, if, as I mentioned before, Ye is the same thing. Super cult following. Doesn't, he's rent through the ringer. Many of us was like, while, when he said the slavery thing, I'm like, listen, I'm going with everyone else. I'm not rocking with this, this, this dude. But eventually, y'all came back around, right? Nipsey, I, I'm sorry I didn't mention Nipsey. Nipsey's one where his journey, the actions in the journey, the levels of his were they weren't they weren't as highlighted because he needed to actually do the work for it to then be highlighted in this way. And uh I would just say this, there's another layer of this uh, philosophy that extends to ancient Egypt and their mythology and like the, the slicing up of, of uh, Horus and the putting back together, also symbolic. So look into that. Uh, so... Right. This mass. So at this level, this mass popularity. Don't, like it, it, there's so much. There, there's a reason why. It's people are reacting this way. And I want to bring up Michael Jackson. I just want to show you guys, like. If the beauty of life is being able to see things like this, this same concept in two different individuals who are expressing it in two different ways. Mike, we all, Michael, Michael just, 
He gave us everything. He gave us everything. But then in the more, you know, traditional uh, sense of how people, like the savior aspect, I should say, we the the to this day, the celebrity who has uh, given the most monetarily to hunger and, you know, organ, uh, charity organizations in the world, right? The Virgo, Mike, Virgo, Pisces moon as well. Okay. Y'all getting this good game right here, man. Y'all are getting this good game. So, Michael, like I said, God, there's so much. Yeah, I want, like, Kendrick's is, this reminds me, Kendrick gives us this, uh, the the song I don't know the name of the song. It's the the narrative song with him and the girl. Fuck you, fuck you, whatever, bitch. We know this song, right? Uh, M Michael, I would say like that's a song highlighting like relationship dynamics of you know a particular time. It made me think of like uh, Michael, Michael's Billy Jean. Billy Jean, not my lover. She just a girl. Said that I can, how many can you imagine how many people could relate to that <laughs> at the time? <laughs> you have the so what I'm highlighting here, then you know, later in his career you have um songs like they don't really care about us. Um Liberian girl. Man, y'all know the repertoire. I when I'm showcasing that these dudes when you reach a particular level of personal power and um, your inner, they say the inner reflects on the outer and these brothers, especially Kendrick's letting you know this shit ain't all rose petals and stuff. I'll be going through stuff. And um, I think the next significant thing too in the accessing of this is taking the time to grow to embrace your humanity. If Kendrick gives us three albums in this five year span, it's it's he doesn't he doesn't get to do the work in the time he needs to do it. Um or he or it, it can just come out the wrong way if he himself is, you know, not taking that time to get away from the public eye. Right? You may get the more the Kanye type of perception where everything you're going to go through shit in life but do you want to go through it with the camera on you things like that um lucy i was going to bring in lucifer let me tie this in uh i probably say this for another talk too with some visual but if and um so i listen to lyrics uh, i love it and i feel like the, the dope thing is when you listen to an artist and you hear them over time, you, you you hear particular things they may repeat or topics they go over. And on uh, Kendrick's album, I think to Pimp a, yeah, to Pimp a Butterfly, there was a big theme of, of, of Lucy and, you know, him talking to that. And, you know, at a, a deeper spiritual level, I would even say, depending on what you know and stuff, uh, it w yeah, Kendrick's probably a seeker, you know, uh, so he's probably aware of the concept of Lucifer being the light bearer and the spiritual, you know, significance, uh, you know, behind, you know, Luciferian spirits and all of that. But essentially, we always keep in mind duality. So... I want to give it to you in a human sense, like, uh, let's say Lucifer, the devil, whatever, just represents uh, all your your temptations. But at the same, it's not just that. It's having what you want. It's light. But what you do with that. And within Lucifer, what often gets left out is two sides to that. And Lucifer may, Lucifer in the two sides of that may not actually be the negative one. That within the concept of this Lucifer that we know, maybe if 
that let's say uh, your celebrity <laughs> or even your humanity allows you to embrace the darker aspects in that re in that regard within the light which would be addiction lust all of that so that lose of energy for celebrity for you know people at a particular level it's it's a lust it's you know it's like that this is that lust for life but it's the ability to really uh live that life and all it entails but at the same time what can you do with this light what do you what can you do with it so it's a deeper thing and i'll get into it another day but yeah y'all can unpack this and uh leave some comments let me know what you think and i hope you're enjoying this eclipse feel free to chime in if you've never subscribed to my channel, you could do so. If you need a reading, holla at me. Till next time, peace.